found this push stick on the net, so I printed it out and decided I would trace it out and make one using John Walsh's 2013 Logic Trace CNC DXF program. The only criteria I had, it had to match my handsaw handle. I like a comfortable handle. I used the combination setting on the draw program because I figured there were some straight lines and some arcs and some tracing. It's a straightforward trace, no big deal. I figured I would trace this out and then produce a DXF file, run it on the laser, cut it out, see how it felt, and if it feels good, I'll cut it on the CNC. It's easier to cut a project in quarter inch mahogany plywood than to take the time out and use the CNC machine do all that toolpath programming, etc. So I thought this would be a way that I could feel it and see how it performs. Again, I'm using the cordless pen to do all my drawings. You can see here, most of the drawing is done. The outer perimeter is finished. All we gotta do now is work at the handle, the inside cut. And of course you always save your work at every step just in case you have to edit something to delete something and do it over again. I'm going to be loading this DXF file into Vectrix Aspire 8.5. I can't show any printing here because Vectric is very, very white and the printing doesn't show up very well. What I'm doing here is I'm checking the file over, making sure there's no open vectors for the CNC machine. I'm also checking that handle size and I'm comparing it to the handsaw. That's how I size the diagram. So when I drew the diagram, I increased the whole diagram by 160%. And that ended up matching that handsaw handle perfectly. The whole criteria here was to make this push stick comfortable on my hand, just like the handsaw felt. It's very easy to resize a file in Aspire 8.5. You just keep putting in figures and checking it with a ruler until you get the measurement you want. Here I'm going to run it through the simulator to see how the cut looks because I want the cut on the outside of the line along the outside perimeter and I want the handle on the inside so I don't lose too much meat on the push stick. I'm going to make a few of these out of 3 quarter inch fir plywood. Also, this is where the toolpath was made for the outside cut and the inside cut for a Mach 3 from my CNC machine. So I'm going to run this file through the laser. I'm just going to cut out a quarter inch mahogany plywood template. I want to just see how it looks and how it feels. And I can compare it to the handsaw. And I can actually take it over to the jointer and see how it feels to push a piece through. But it did fit the handle perfectly. It also suited the jointer too. The push stick worked perfectly. Earlier I had created the toolpath, so now I loaded it into the machine, uh, Mach 3. 
I programmed the machine to run at 40 inches per minute and I was using a quarter inch end mill carbide to do the cuts. I did four passes on three quarter inch plywood. These are going to be useful on the jointer. Well, as you can see here, we took a diagram off the internet, which was just a tiny little thing. I printed it. I traced it on John Walsh's program. I created a toolpath and cut it on the CNC. And just to give it a quick check, I also cut it on the laser to see how it would look. 